Hey, welcome back to another Quick Tips video. And if you're like me and make a lot of software tutorial based content or videos where you're showing a lot of screenshots that you need to highlight particular areas, then I've got a tip for you that will really help you level up your presentations. I've been doing a lot of DaVinci Resolve tutorial videos lately and people have been asking me how I do this effect where I zoom in on a particular area of the screen and leave the rest blurred. The method I use to do this is really quick and simple in DaVinci Resolve and you can do it straight from the edit page. Let me show you how. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve and I've got my projects down here in my timeline. I realize showing a DaVinci Resolve screen within DaVinci Resolve might be a bit like the Matrix, but just bear with me. So in this clip, I'm showing some features and I'm talking about the controls that are up here on the top right area of the screen. So this is where I want my viewers attention focused. So this is how I do my zoom and magnify effect. First, I start off with a duplicate of my entire clip. So I'm going to create a new video track here and I want to duplicate this entire clip. If you're using a Mac, you can hold down the option key and while that's held down, just click the mouse on your clip and drag it up to your new track. So now I've got the same clip across two tracks. The top track here is going to be used for the zoom effect and the one underneath I'm going to add the blur to. So I'm going to come along to the point where I want my zoom to start. Let's say that's here. So across both of these clips, I'm going to make a cut. Now I'm going to scrub the timeline and find the point where I want the effect to end. And let's say that's here. And I'm going to make another cut on both of these clips at this point. On my top clip here, I'm just going to go forward a little bit and just cut and delete the section just after where my effect ends. And that's important for the transition we're going to use in a minute. So in this section here is where I want my zoom in effects to come in. And then around about here, I want it to go out and go back to a full screen. So the first thing we're going to do is add the blur to the clip I have underneath here. And for the time being, I'm just going to disable the video two track just so we can see what we're doing on the video one track. So on this track, I'm just going to bring over the lens flare effect and drop that over my clip. So I want my blur effect to ease in and out. So while I'm on the first frame of this clip, I'm going to come over here to the inspector tab of the lens flare effect. And under controls here, I'm going to select blur size and I want to put a keyframe here. And then I want to bring that all the way down to zero. Now I'm just going to hit the right cursor key about eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I want to create another keyframe here and then bring up the blur to what I want the background to be blurred out. And I'll say somewhere around two to three is normally what I like. I still want to better see what's in the background, but I want the attention to be on what I'm zoomed in on. Now I'm going to come over to the very last frame of the clip. And from the last frame, I'm going to count back eight frames by hitting the left cursor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to add a keyframe there. And then I'm going to go back to the end of the clip and then add another keyframe and then bring that blur all the way down to zero again. So we can see how that looks if we just play that through. At the beginning, we can see the blur come in. And then towards the end, we can see the blur go out. So now we've got the blur effect down below. We're going to come back to the video two track here and I'm going to enable it again so we can see it. Highlight that clip. And the first thing I want to do is set a crop around this clip to the area that I want to be zoomed in. So under cropping here, under the inspector tab, we're going to bring up the crop bottom here all the way to the bottom of where we want to zoom. Let's just make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. Also, if you want to visualize this a little bit better, you can just disable the video one track while you're doing this and that'll make things a little bit clearer. And we'll come in and we'll bring the crop left and bring it all the way over to where we want that to stop there. And in this case, we don't need to worry too much about top and right. So now we've got our area cropped in. This is what we're gonna zoom in on. I'm gonna enable my video one track now. So now the next step's pretty easy. We're just gonna to go to the very first frame of our video two clip here. Under the inspector tab, I'm gonna add a keyframe for zoom and position. Now again, I'm gonna come forward eight frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to add another keyframe here for zoom and position. And now I'm going to adjust these to where I want them. So we're going to zoom. I'm going to click the transform thing here and just do it with the mouse because it's easier. I can play around with this until I get the effect that I want. So this is where I want to zoom into. And that's great. I can just hit play on that and see what that's looking like. Now you can see that my viewer's attention is focused just on this particular area of the screen that I want them to see for this section of the video. And now what I like to do to end this is rather than just having it disappear, I like to use the crash zoom transition. And if we just take the crash zoom transition over and add that to the end of this clip. By default, I find this a little bit too slow. So we're just going to zoom in on this a tiny bit. And I'm just going to bring it in to about nine frames. 
That's a lot better. And I'm going to click on the transition. I'm going to go onto the inspector tab here under transition. I'm going to crank motion blur all the way up to one. So if we come back to the beginning here, we can see how that looks all the way through. So if I click play, we can see that the area I want to focus on suddenly zooms in, everything else nicely blurs out. My viewer's attention is focused on this while I'm talking about this particular feature. And then when we're done with that, we get this nice sort of crash zoom effect and we go back to the main screen. So that's how I do my magnify and zoom effect when I'm doing DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So using little editing tricks like this, especially for videos where the majority is a screen share, can really help make your presentation less boring and keep your audience engaged. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, then please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button, it really does help. Also, I've just launched a newsletter, the link's in the description, so feel free to sign up for that. And until the next time, keep making videos.